Oh. There it is. Mm. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, is... I asked oh. for extra whip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I used to work at Dairy <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. oh thank god <laughs> did, did I ever tell you about the first time that I went to the Dare Queen they did that shit oh did they re- oh yeah yeah you did talk about that yeah I remember, <laughs> I, remember. <laughs> I don't think I've told it on the podcast you, if you ever go to Dare Queen and order a blizzard to show you how cold it is they will tip it upside down in front of you and when, right before they hand it to you first time I ever went to a Dare Queen cause this is, god damn when was it 2009 I think summer of 2009 I think which one one in San Bernardino. Oh. I, there was no Dairy Queen in, in Fontana. In the ghetto. Da, 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 da. Oh, the only one that I knew was, um, what in Ontario Mills? Not Ontario Mills. Uh, what's that, one, what's that one place called? Montclair Mall. Sorry. I'm not going to the Montclair Mall. <laughs> I get you. But I was just like, that was the only one I knew yeah, at I, that time. I didn't I, even know there was one in the ghetto. Yeah, there's, there's one in San Bernardino. I ordered just an Oreo Blizzard. I was like, it's hot outside. I was getting my car smog. Yeah. You know, you need the hookup for a smog. Oh, <laughs> dude, you did that? I was like, what? What does this mean? <laughs> Your car's getting high? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just so lost. Hey, sometimes you need a plug for a smog check. That's all I got to say. I, I get, I, now yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but it took me a minute. I was like, what was your so time? I was like, all right, cool. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go get some ice cream. Go in there, order a blizzard. Honestly, it was busy, though. There's a good, like, like, eight, ten people in that motherfucker. Yeah. I didn't know how popular it was. I was like, all right, cool. Especially around that time. I think that was like kind of like one of the bigger... Yeah. Yes. So, Ice cream drops. I'm inside. They fucking... They're like, order 69, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I go, Oreo Blizzard? I'm like, okay, cool. I go to grab it. She goes, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I literally like yelled, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> she started laughing. Other people started chuckling. I was like... Fuck y'all! Give <laughs> my fucking just fucking blizzard. I would, I didn't even eat a side. I was so mad. I went back to the fucking spot. <laughs> like, fuck you guys! I'm not gonna enjoy this in front of y'all. <laughs> that was so hot. But okay, picking back off of the last podcast, question from the internet says you are on a ten hour road trip. Ooh. You can only listen to one music artist. Who is it gonna be? Right off the bat, for me personally, it's a hard debate between... I was like, who the fuck is hard debate? <laughs> but my bad. <laughs> yeah, we're getting hard. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard of that artist. And that sounds <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard you <laughs> listen to anyone named hard, hard debate. Hard debate. <laughs> no, it's, it's between three different artists. Uh, of course, Bruno Mars. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other two are gonna be either Justin Timberlake or Justin Bieber. We gotta think about it. Ten hour road trip. What's a ten hour road trip? Here to San Fran. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Give or take an hour. Yeah, two. yeah. So, who could you listen to throughout the entire drive and not get bored of listening to? This is just like, just a song, like 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 an artist, like just an just, artist. Okay, okay, artist. That's and, good for and you. Their, and their entire catalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problems. Yeah, yeah. Justin Timberlake would be one of them for sure. Yeah, like Justin Timberlake, like easy listen album through and through. And we'll, we'll, you know, as a matter of fact, we'll even include their features, not just I, their songs. I can get away with the features, but like I get you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so like I, I'm, I'm thinking of like like rap artists. Like Wiz Khalifa, yeah, yeah. Wiz Khalifa, like between 2010 and 2015, he did like 50 features a year. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> he did a lot of features. Guess who I met last week, though? <laughs> <laughs> Wiz Khalifa. Okay, um, we're just picking one, right? Got to pick one. Okay. I, I listed three that I will have to narrow down through, but who is? Who is in your top three? Or we can even go broader. If you want to do top ten, top five, up to you. But I know for, for damn sure, no matter who I go through, mm-hmm. it's going to end up with one of those three. Okay. One of them for sure, Justin Timberlake. I, that's on my list. Mm. Kanye West is on my list. 
Ooh, Kanye. Ooh, yeah, okay. Here, here's my five that I'm, I'm thinking of, okay? okay. Genre wise is. Oh my god, that's so tough. It... Yeah, so Justin Timberlake, Kanye West, and then Linkin Park. Ooh, that's um, a catalog. That's a good catalog. Luke Holmes, that's that's my introductory to. Oh, really? To. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? 2019 to 2020, that guy was like on my top, like. like Oh, he albums really? listens yeah like uh, uh top artists that i listen to oh, shit. so i could recite besides his newer two the two newer albums or like the newest one i can't recite those but all of them i can okay um and then how's his catalog he's got good. a good catalog yeah okay mm-hmm. uh got me through got me through time this is a really good one <laughs> um but damn yeah i don't know i don't know who i, who I would go with you, got, you listed three out of five. Four. Oh, four out of five. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm missing. I don't know who my fifth one was, yeah. to be honest with you. It it would be another, like, rock band, which, but. <clears throat> I. <clears throat> it would be between Justin Timberlake and Kanye West. In the final two. In the final two. Oh, okay. Uh. Huh. That. That's. Definitely a, a very good variation, like two kind of just yeah, different. like yeah, 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 yeah. For and, sure. and I think because I say Kanye West because his style of throughout all his album is just different. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So like I can, and I'm not saying that for Justin Blake, he he has a different style on each album as well. I'm just most. most I, I, did, I I understand what you're saying. You know what I mean, but. It's not as as Kanye would. As no, Kanye yeah, Kanye. Has. Like, if we were go from from uh, late registration to graduation to what was the album after that? That was that. Was that clear cover? I forget the the name of it. There's. I know he. I know he has like six. Yeah, he has like six. But like, yeah, through all, like, yeah, from throughout his whole thing, it it is very different. Very different. Like, you, like if you were to so, go off of each one, it's a it's a different vibe. I I would have to go with Kanye just thinking about it now. Oh, 808 and Heartbreak I... was after. Huh? 808 and Heartbreak was after. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. there you go. And then there was um was it just called Gay? Yeezy. Was it... Or Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy yeah. Yeezy. It was the, it was like the most versatile one where like who the heck is this guy? Yeah. Yeah, no. Honestly, I remember that. That was like 2013, 2012ish. And Damn, he... was it? I think so. Jeez. It, it, he, he, it's when he released the 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 CD that didn't have any like artwork. Right, yeah, 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 it looked like it looked like a Saran wrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah cause uh, that was uh, Blood on Leaves. Mm-hmm. Um, was that Power era? No, Power. No, was... Power was on um the one after. Oh no, the one after, I think is um Dark oh, Fantasies. You're right. You're right. There was an album between um uh, Easy and, and uh, uh, 808. Yeah. Got you. But I, I would say Kanye, just because I think um, I can listen to all the albums easy, all of them, all through the, and through. And I, I can do the same thing for Justin as well. Yeah. But I think for me to like just be Vibin'. engaged vibe, it would be Kanye. I get that. Because, you know what you said? There was a, there was a very good shift in um, Justin Timberlake's like album, albums. His first album... Justified was predominantly Neptune's produce, mm-hmm. and then he came in with um, um, fuck, I forget the name of the album. Future Sex Love Sounds. That's it. Future Sex Love Sounds. That one was, I think, predominantly uh, Timberland produced. After that, took a hiatus, came out with uh, twenty twenty experience or twenty twenty vision. Yeah, twenty twenty yeah, experience. Twenty twenty experience. He had part one, part two. Both of those albums were bangers. Uh, took another break. Then he had his... Um, um, I don't want to say it was more of a country album, but it was... It was like an urban... Like, it was... Um, it had Say Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Man I, in the Woods. Man in the Woods. I, I liked it, personally. Did you? I did, I did. I really I didn't did. really listen to it all the way through. Because um, I, I did like Say Something, but not as much as I liked his previous projects yeah, yeah, at the yeah. time. But then coming up with his... Because uh, he said Man in the Woods was his family album. 
Yeah, he did that. Say was, that. that was about most of the time when they kind of do a different sound. It's like always experimental to them, and it was a good. It was a good one for me. Yeah, but yeah, Man of the Woods was different, way different. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, yeah, it was. It was definitely different from everything he had done previously. But then his um, uh, his most recent album, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh everything I. I experienced, or it was everything I, I thought it was. I forget the name of his album. Sorry, but, but yeah, you're close to it. Yeah, uh, had uh, drowned and um, selfish, and it, literally he released it this year. Um, that this most recent album kind of hit, went back and kind of captured a little bit of every album previously. So, um, but. Between each album itself, there was, like, song-wise per album, there were still some very big, like, changes in yeah. the in the music itself. Like, Justified, you had Senorita and um, Rock Your Body, mm-hmm. um, and then went over to, like, the slower, I don't want to say ballads, but... Um, yeah, ballads. They were ballads. They yeah. Were- they were like a little bit more yeah. slow pace, showcasing his, yeah. his vocals. Like mo- yeah, more vocals, more emotional side. Yeah, yeah. Um, where fuck, I, I can't. It's funny because we could we could off camera we could probably list every single song that we're thinking of. Yeah. yeah. But on camera, the dumb beam comes out. And you, you won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baked potato. <laughs> yeah. So, because even in Future Sex Love Sounds. Um, honestly, his singles in Future Sex Love Sounds were, were pretty different as well, from What Goes Around Comes Around mm-hmm. to um, Sexy Back to Cry Me River, um, even his uh, songs that weren't singles like um, Who's Cry Me River on Future Love Sex Love? Look, Future... Was what? Which album was uh, Cry Me River on? Was it not on Future Sex Love Sounds? I, I could be mistaken. I thought it was on Justified, no? It might be. Let me, let me, let me double-take. Um... Oh no, it was on. It was on Justified. That's my fault. I apologize. No, you're good. You're good. Um, but even even the other songs, uh, "Taxi Back," to um, "Losing My Way," to um, "What Goes Around Comes Around," like they were very different. But I, I think at Future Sex Love Sounds, he kind of gave himself a style like that worked for him. That worked. There was yeah, like yeah. a formula that worked yeah. for him because when he came in with uh, with the Twin Twin Experience. He kind of used that formula still. And, man, the bangers on 2020 Experience. Mirrors, um, Push a Love Girl. Oh, my God. Push a Love Girl, man. That was the shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, Justin Timberlake is doing a world tour. And he only had, like, one... Or two shows, a one weekend show uh, in LA. Mm -hmm. And by the time I found out about it, it was sold out. Uh, I was mad, bro. I was so mad because I really want to see Justin Timberlake in mm -hmm. concert. But, um, you know, it is what it is. There'll be another one. There will be another one eventually. I was super mad. He's he's definitely one of them. But, uh, so, we talked about Kanye, talked about Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake's on both of ours. My other two, of course, is going to be Bruno Mars and Justin Bieber. Talking about Bruno Mars, he does have a wide category as well, including some of his features. With did, did he feature with Miguel on a song? Who Bruno? Bruno. I could be thinking of something, somebody different. Uh, I know he did. Um, he did that song with Cardi B. Yeah. Please me, baby. But. Uh, Bruno Mars went through kind of a shift as well. His first album was, I mean, his, before he even came out with his own singles, he he was on two defining features of a decade. And if you don't know these songs, you need to reevaluate your life. I'm talking about Nothing On You, from B.O.B., and Billionaire with Travis McCoy. Those are two songs in late 2009, beginning of 2010, defined 
a man. Define an era. Define an be, era. To be honest with you, because nothing on you. Was, still a banger. Was still pl- was, still a banger. Was playing everywhere you went, mm-hmm. uh, which a lot of songs were, but like, no, w- that defined an era for me. Like I that I hear that and that will bring me back. And not a lot of songs will do that. I'll just be here like whatever. But that back. brings me back. No, absolutely. Okay, I'm over here like. <laughs> 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 Why am I in Singapore? <laughs> oh, just playing. But, uh, no, yeah, like he had those two running for a good few months before he came out with his single, Just the Way You Are. Man. A song that during an era of angst and and uh 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 emo <laughs> what year was that 2010 nah i can't say that but there were a lot of songs to... on the radio that were just like like not love songs yeah yeah you know that is true. Yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about like like airplanes yeah from um from bob and yeah, yeah. um Halo balloon and the remix with uh eminem we're also talking about what you say. Kind of a love song, but boy cheated. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about how he cheated. Come on, let's be real. Uh, and then we had random songs like Tao Cruz. Hey, I only yo. wanna break, 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 <laughs> break, break your heart. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like that was it was invigorating for me as a music head to hear a a popish or and ish love song because at that time I don't think there was anything that was really like a banger. And when 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 I started hearing his music play in like Tilly's, I was like, oh man, this man made it. <laughs> this man made it. <laughs> but then okay, going going on to Bruno Mars' first album. Uh, what is the name of his album? Work one. It, Bruno Mars and the, the first Hooligans. One? Yeah. Was it Duop or no? Yeah, do up and hooligans, hooligans and do up something like that. I'm gonna Google it. I swear I'm a fan, guys. I swear. He's a fan. He's a fan. He's, he's a, a fan. fan. Yeah, do ups and hooligans. Oh yeah, do ups and hooligans. Yeah. yeah. So that was his first album. On that album, let me. Just, I'm just gonna reference this really quick. Uh, just the way you are was his first single. I catch a grenade for you. I was just about to bring it up. Grenade came out too. The lazy song, lazy song. I mean, the honestly, whole, this I'm looking at the album. whole <laughs> album, bro, is just <laughs> come on, bro. Like the first time, run away, run away. A, run la- lazy away. song, lazy song was great. That was lazy a song. bop. You can't count on me. Okay, I, okay, I'm talking about that one right there. I'm gonna. I'll be there. That 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 one song. I'm so sorry, but it's because Plain White Tees. Um, they ruined that that. Uh, it just it, it reminds me of that plain white T songs. Uh, Which one? It's this one, the one, two, three, four. Say one word. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Three words. That Who that that one. Two, yeah, 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 yeah. So it gives me so much of that vibe where okay. I just can't listen to it. I get it. That's the only, I think the only one Bruno song that I put on the bottom of the list. It, I understand it because that plain white T song is played out. Played out. It's. It's it's like the Ashanti song. It needs to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Ashanti's like, oh, okay. yeah, oh, goddamn! Why am I getting well, stressed? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Right yeah. like, <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so, <clears throat> but grenade, just uh, just the way you are. Uh, run away, baby. Lazy song, marry you. A song, a song that that I absolutely loved from the release of the album became popular. Only a few years ago, talking to the moon, bro. I, man. When, when people were getting on that song, if you go on my motherfucking Instagram, it's actually one of his highlighted stories. Thank you. It's I'm like... so glad he fucking knows. <laughs> I'm so glad he fucking knows. I swear to fucking god, I did that. I did that back in like 2018 or some shit. Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! It's literally 2019 June. 21st, 2019. You guys can see that motherfucker right there. If you go on my fucking Instagram, I swear to God, it was right there. 
Talking to the moon. I'm just saying, I don't blow a lot, but when I do, I'm a fan. Hey. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, 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 he I, I know for sure that you do like that song. And I do too because. Boy, boy, boy sang his ass off. <laughs> boy sang his ass Never, off. Never, ever in my life would I be like, yeah, let me talk to the moon. But yeah. this, my, this guy sang his heart out talking about talking to the moon. I remember ever since then, I'd be looking at it and be like, what's up? <laughs> You're just looking at it like, just, man, you see all the demons. To be honest, like, <laughs> but to be honest with you, it's it's a very, um, yeah, it, it it's a song close to home because, yeah, you, I'll sing that randomly. Yeah. Literally, like on a night out. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. see the moon? Talking to the moon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. That's, oh, yeah. uh, that's top, top tier right there. One of his top five. Yeah, uh, liquor store blues. Yeah, absolutely. The other side, other side. Oh yeah, other side. Out. Bob and, and uh, Ceelo Green. Shout out Ceelo Green. <sighs> so dope. Behind the bars. Not anymore though. Right. Okay. Anyways, just the way you are. Did shout out to Lupe Fiasco. Huh? Did Ceelo Green get arrested? Yeah, he was like. <laughs> when? I I don't know if he and it's not recent anymore, oh. but it was shortly around after that time. He was on The Voice, and I remember he stopped being on The Voice, and I was like wondering why. It's because that motherfucker was in jail. <laughs> oh, I thought they just wanted a new judge. And, uh, no, yeah, that's what I thought so, too, too. No. And so I was just like, oh, no. No, they couldn't book him again. Yeah, they he got booked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> CeeLo Orange. CeeLo Orange. <laughs> County Orange. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, then going on to his next album, Unorthodox Jukebox. This one right here. Another defining album. Honestly. All of them, bro. I sang my 2012. Damn, I, that I don't know why this this album screams out 2011 for me. But Same. this that this whole album, I think because Locked Out of Heaven was released in 2011. This whole album, yeah, ran me through. I think what when was it, the Treasure that was released 2011. Fuck, I can't remember. Treasure, dun, 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 that is what you. But. Or not. This within like a good six months, I think I read. <laughs> you, you said, yeah. or not. <laughs> 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 Who hurt <heard> this man? <laughs> I got that shit from, from Donatus. Oh. <laughs> that is what you are, or not. <laughs> but within the span of, I think, six months, because I remember. Oh, it lasted all the way till summer. Yeah. I think I went through like eight pairs of drumsticks. Really? This I could play this album. Oh, well, not, not now, not now. But I played this whole album through and through oh, on shit. my drums. Respect. Not anymore. Okay, Respect. don't 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 give me a, 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 you know some drums and be like, put it. I, yeah. I probably wouldn't be able to. I could probably give you like two songs. Yeah. But and it'll be the slow ones. Yeah, but unorthodox jukebox. He did do a not a genre shift. But a new sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did do a new sound. From yeah, yeah. His more the like the poppy music from early uh, 2010s to I mean that's still early 2010s, but from like 09, 2010 to 2012, the sound did change. But it was like refreshing. But it was it was his sound. Yeah. No, like, absolutely. Like to for him, tailored to him. Mm-hmm. But then Bruno Mars comes in comes in hot. Sprinting in, swinging with 24 karat magic. Boy, that one right there. Man. That album? Man. That fucking album. First off, the title song, 24 karat magic. Dope. Chunky? He performed that live at the, um, uh, what show was that? It was, uh, it was a runway show. I just remember seeing it on YouTube. He played it live then? Fire. Perm? Perm. It's my birthday. No, it's no, not. It's not. <laughs> uh, that's what I like. When when I saw that, when I saw the music video for that, and he, and it was nonstop him dancing all the way through, I was like, "Yeah, this man got the moves." Like I knew he could dance, but with that one, I was I like, think "Was this was this, this was the album?" That I think that solidified his relationship with the Job Walkies, right? With the Job Walkies, yeah. Actually, I think it was. Yeah, it was this I, one I because I think it was when he went on tour. Yeah, that, that's when he was on tour. He was like on the jumpsuit, like the like the colorful '80s jumpsuit. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, because um, because uh, this is when finesse um, yeah. calling him a lovelies, Versace on the floor. This album again, 
another another album with multiple bangers. This, this is his third album and had another full set list. This is four years later. Four, four years, years we later. Didn't, we from, didn't hear from this man in regards album-wise you besides didn't hear features. From him. You went, you graduated middle school and went throughout all of high school without <laughs> hearing from this man. And went this to college. This motherfucker went to college. Man. I'm going to the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> bah, 24 core magic. <laughs> Bro, another banger set yeah th- this one no misses bro this no. guy was nine for nine in this album not absolutely he, this guy was german nine nine, nine. <laughs> no misses no misses no misses that's a double entendre right there no, that's yeah, crazy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> if, you, if you gotta you want to shovel so you can dig that one up <laughs> but that yeah no misses but respectfully after that album you know he did a world tour did a residency in Vegas before <laughs> him owing MGM. Before him owing MGM. Before, <laughs> before his residency at the uh, the gambling table. <laughs> he took a break, and then years later, what year was was uh the door open? What year did that song come out? That was uh twenty one. I want to say, yeah. I want to say it was a little bit. I think it was a little bit after. Um, COVID. COVID. It definitely wasn't COVID. It definitely wasn't COVID, but. Let me see here. He respectfully took his time and came out with a brand new group with Anderson Pack, a.k.a. Breezy Lovejoy. Hey. Hey, only the real ones. Only know. the real ones know, bro. Only the real. I'll never forget when I found out, and I only only like two people know because I was like, I don't speak to a lot of people <laughs> around that time when Dumbfounded was around, and the only two people were Arlen and, and Cisco. <laughs> I was just like, oh my! Like the realization because I remember listening to, um, I think it was Cell Phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know what I mean. Like it, I think that was the music video with. When he's at a party, yeah, at a party, and then he's like looking for a cell phone with Breezy Lovejoy. Was, I, it, was that was that his album with Lovesickle? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, I think so. That was a while, that was a while ago. A while ago, but I remember. I'm, I don't know what just came over me, but I was just like, man, this guy just reminds me of. Oh, it's because I think I saw that, and then not too not too long after, I saw a music video with Anderson Pack for actually seeing Anderson Pack. I've seen pictures. Yeah. But I usually don't watch music videos a lot. But I just happened to watch this one with, with uh, uh, Anderson Pack, And I was just like, this guy looks familiar. And it was the teeth. It was the teeth. And I remember looking back at that this cell phone one. music video. And I was just like, this is the this is same. <laughs> <laughs> you. You. <laughs> no, I remember when you told me that. I was like, there's no fucking way. I went back and listened. And I was like. Oh my fucking god. I was just like so happy. I was like, good for him. No, dead ass. Good for uh, Loki, him. Loki, I felt proud. <laughs> right? I was I just fucking like, proud. Yo. Man, yeah, man. 2021. Sorry. Uh, we got a little sidetracked, but yeah. uh, <laughs> Leave the Door Open was 2021. Yeah, Leave the Door Open was 2021. Came out with a whole album. That another, album. Another man. list of banger. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to pull it up. Off the top of my head, you know, Leave the Door Open, Smoking Out the Window, Skate, the whole thing. The whole album was. Fire as well. Another an, and again a different a different sound. Ten. Ten songs. Ten all songs. hits. All no hits. misses. No misses. Go ahead, read them up. We got the Silk Sonic intro, of course, just to mm-hmm. you know him. Play it out. Silk Sonic. Sonic. And then mm-hmm. dun dun. Leave the doors open. Fly as me. That one gave me Ooh. the very twin. Uh, the, fly as yeah. me. Somebody so fly. Oh. Uh, one of my top songs from him, After Last Night. After last night. Oh. Never been love with you. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Um, smoking out the window. Smoking out the window. No, no. Uh, another top favorite of mine, Put on a Smile. Try to put on a smile. That's put cool. on a smile. Woo! <coughs> got triple seven. Got skate. Skate. You know, I don't know if they purposely did this, but I like it for my sake, just my my logic and pun wise. But skate is number eight on the. On, I, 
No, that was planned. It had to be. That had to be planned. <laughs> Love Train. Love Train is great. <coughs> and Blast Off. The, again. All easy listen through, all oh, in all. Absolutely. 10 you, for 10. You can, you can glide through each album, relive a part of your history, and be entertained with each fucking song. Again, I didn't realize how how much of a Bruno Mars fan I I was. You know, when Selena a long time ago she asked me like, "Who do you think is a, who's a, who's a better artist, Justin Timberlake or Bruno Mars?" This is back in 2012, before before Unknown to the Dark Two mm-hmm. I was like, "Justin Timberlake." I was like, "He already had a couple albums in his belt." I was like, "He's got more songs now." Fuck. It's it's hard. That's like, a hard debate. Justin has a very big, and you know what? Be, my, I only had four people picked out. I apologize, Bruno. In a, in a short time span. You were convinced? <laughs> no, not even that. Because I, I like him personally. Because once again, I can listen to him through and through. All his albums. Easy listen. I think if we had more time to plan it, obviously I would be able, yeah. I would have been able to. This is, but, this is all spur of the moment. But right now, yeah. Like I said, like if they both go toe-to-toe. Right? Now, who will go longer? Justin, because Justin has a longer. Yeah, he has, he has a lot more songs. That's fine. But that's a that's a good fight. That, Twelve rounds. You might have to be one of those fights where you're like you're gonna be like it's a draw. Yeah, honestly, yeah. encore, encore, encore. <laughs> Who's got something in the bag right yeah, now? Yeah. <laughs> Someone's like, all right, death round. No, 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 no. One's gonna die. <laughs> no one's gonna die. Hey, we just, just want to hear more sing- singing. <laughs> they just put on bucks a little. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Keep the mics. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's but, rough. Yeah, uh, Bruno Mars all the way through and through. Um, guy's a killer. Okay. Oh man, I just I just realized something. When I said earlier we're including all features, that means we gotta include all the NSYNC albums. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's not fair. That's, <laughs> that's not fair. Awesome. No, that's not that. No, we got to. We, I said we can include all features. Oh, no, he's just, he just wins by default. <laughs> okay. He, okay, this, this is why. This is why. I this man's been around. <laughs> this man has been around. This is why I, I, I was, um, this is why I brought it up. Because there are two people on my, on my top three that have Christmas albums. And if you don't realize how hard it is to make a banger Christmas song, that's hard. It's fucking hard. And to just and just to be automatically included into that holiday playlist, yeah, where you'll hear it in stores, yeah, no matter what, like to be playable in stores as a holiday song, yeah, is just... yeah, like you're in Bath and Body Works. <laughs> <laughs> Last Christmas, yeah, I, I gave you my head. I hate that fucking song. Oh. I hate that fucking song so much. Wham, you're gonna get whammed, okay? Let's, let's, let's chill. But the very night. Oh my god, yeah. sorry. Yeah, but yes, yeah, it, it's that's so difficult. It's easy, but it's hard because it's like to make a a li- like a, a song that's an easy listen mm-hmm. that's open to here's yes, but you have to pass it through people that are like. Somewhat close minded, like like the the head of like the studios, like yeah, yeah, we, yeah I'll, I'll take that. I could, I could, I could hear my nineteen year old uh, granddaughter or great granddaughter listen to this. Yeah, let's yeah, let them absolutely play through, the, release it. Yeah, so going back to Justin Bieber or not uh, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, he had he did have a Christmas album though with with and sync. He had a whole Christmas album, and that Christmas album was banger. A lot of my a lot of my favorite Christmas songs is their rendition of it. Yeah, the first Noel, yeah. Silent Night, they they did it fucking great, but their Christmas song, their original Christmas song, "Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays." Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Happy that, Holidays. That song has transcended pop <laughs> into the holiday genre, and and is one of those songs that does automatically end up on your playlist. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to go in depth with the NSYNC albums to justify. <laughs> if we did, <laughs> I'm just saying Kanye had his holiday album too. So, but I'm not going to go into it. 
So did Chris Brown, but we're not talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck! Chris Brown! <laughs> I don't know when we're going to do this. We're going to do a deep dive of oh each artist God. that we thought about. But I know this man is over here I'm being like. He, it's probably like 80 by If you see his computer, house. if you see his computer, there's like 19 tabs open. So right now, the way this conversation is <laughs> happening, he's closing that window, like minimizing it, starting a new <laughs> window with like 20 more tabs. <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's, for some reason, that's how my ADHD works. So when he said, oh God, Chris Brown. <laughs> That's a whole. <laughs> oh, fuck! I gotta open it up. To, I gotta move it to the top four now. Chris Brown's in the list, but I'm gonna push him to the side for the time being. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> so, yeah, Justin Timberlake, he's got his own. Now moving on to my my third pick in the top three. Fuck! I can't believe I forgot about Chris Brown. I didn't even think we we're gonna go this deep. Honestly, I didn't. Because I, I just brushed off my other four. I have mad love for those people. Yeah. But I didn't want to go to that deep because I knew the tangent that I was going to go down to. You know, I wasn't planning on it either. But this, this is becoming a very layered, a very are complex you, are question. Are you okay? Who's holding a gun to your head? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I, I got I to gotta give Justin Bieber his problem. His first album, p- part one of My World. Every song was single. His first single that ever came out, uh, One Time. Then he had One Less Lonely Girl. Favorite Girl. Down to Earth. I didn't like Love Me that much. That was whatever. Common Denominator was, at the time, like, uh, like a cutesy, like, it was a play on, like, How did that hey, one go? Just a fraction of your love. Okay, yeah, Busy yeah, yeah. air. Yeah, that one, it was like, it was like all common denominator, it, math lyrics. Uh, fuck yeah! No. <laughs> it, it was catchy. Y equals mx plus b. Yeah. yeah, but we 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 gotta give the man his props because before BTS had their army, yeah, there were the believers. There was the believers, yes. The that were crazy. When wow. when when he was doing meet and greets in malls, they were shutting them all down. They were like, "No, nah, yeah, you can't even was, come in because yeah. you motherfuckers are too crazy." Yeah, like this man, this uh, at the time a boy. Like girls were killing each other for yeah. this man. Mm-hmm. This, the, like they were like, "Oh, I'm not friends with her anymore." Yep. But his first album was slept on because his second album was the one that really blew up. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's My World 2.0. That includes the most hated. But most iconic song from him, Baby. Baby featuring Ludacris. And let me tell you something. When, when, when I tell you there was a point in time where me and Ratu knew every single word of that song, including Ludacris' verse. Let me tell you. When I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! To be was, honest with you, that was gold. Well, when you when you just said, "Let me tell you," I thought you were gonna say it. I was like, "Please say it, please <laughs> say it," but you didn't. I was like, "Oh, he's in the zone. I got it. Yeah. Let me tell you." <laughs> that was so, that was solid, top tier. That was good. But in, another album with with a whole bunch of singles. Somebody loves stuck in the moment. Uh, you smile, runaway love, never let you go. Mm. Uh, one of my favorite tracks from the from the album was uh, Overboard. Uh, the original was um, featuring a girl named Jessica uh, Jarrell, wherever she is. Good luck to her. Um, but I think the more popular version of it was the one from uh, the the documentary of the album, his tour, yeah, yeah, yeah. where he had Miley Cyrus come out and sing it. But then there's also uh, Up, That Should Be Me, and then that had a remix with uh, Rascal Flatts. And then Eeny Meeny with um, Sean Kingston. Me. Actually, Eeny Meeny is slept on banger. If you guys are a fan of Justin Bieber like I am, he did um, like a small like performance, not even a concert, for I think it was like a Drake, like like something. It was in Canada, and he did like an R and B like 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 version of Eeny Meeny. That shit went hard as fuck. That shit went hard as fuck. I was like. I was thoroughly impressed by it. And, you know, he's a grown-ass man now. He, he, his voice is deeper. In, his, in the current octave that he's able to sing in, the vibe was dope as hell. Like, 
I highly recommend that. But then after that, um, he did the Never Say Never. Oh, that's what it was. Never Say Never tour. Never Say Never. <clears throat> um, and of course, he had a song with um, uh, Jaden Smith before uh, before he became an artist. You know, back when he was uh, the Karate Kid. Not the original. The remake. The remake. But then after that, he did his Christmas album, Under the Mistletoe. And he has a good amount. Nah, he was... He, his album, his that, Christmas album is that good. That Christmas too. album was really good. That thing was a vibe. I can't, I can't even that lie. That thing was a vibe. Hold I mean, on. Let me, I, now I got to look yeah. it up on that one. <laughs> so I was going to let you take right the reins, but let me just look up that Christmas album, because that one... It was good. A bob. He, he did... Um, no doodle. He did do uh, some renditions of yeah. classic Christmas songs, but then he had his own original Christmas songs as well. Only thing I ever get for Christmas. <laughs> that's so- that one is a that's a great way to introduce like your vocals. Yeah, in like a holiday album like yeah. that. Honestly, very soft, very yeah. like easy listen. I was just like, oh, oh yeah, the just vibe, the-, the vibe of the album was immaculate. Just- Immaculate. And then, of course, his single. That is... That is play... That is playable in the stores. Yep. Mistletoe. Yep. You, got, you gotta include that. If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, swag. Swag. <laughs> We're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> so then, of course, he did his renditions of uh, the Christmas song, the Chestnut Store singing on Open Fire. He did that with Usher. Oh, that one was. Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Eh. Fa La La with Boys to Men was. That was one. Hard. Honestly, I like the acapella. Yeah, acapella was good. I like the acapella. Like, I, I don't mind the original with the music, but the acapella one highlighted the vocals, which was what it's about. Um, he did, um, he did uh, a feature or like, I don't even know. It's not a remix, but All I Want for Christmas is You with Mariah Carey. Yeah. He, he did it. Uh, Drummer Boy feature Buster Rhymes. I like that one. Uh, I, I personally like that one. You do? You? I did, yeah. It was okay. Christmas Eve, uh, All I Want Is You, uh, Home for Christmas, and uh, Silent Night. And Silent Night was okay. I, I prefer um, uh, NSYNC's versus his. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But um, I gotta say, the, his two singles, which were the original songs, only thing I ever get for Christmas, and mistletoe are just that fucking good. That's great. They're that fucking good. Okay. Moving on, there is uh, the Believe album that one had boyfriend. The one. <laughs> do you remember the hype around that fucking song? Where it's like, oh, this is a new image of Justin Bieber. It was. The oh, first it's time, because like he got like a haircut. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, like. Yeah. They they tease like the first ten seconds of the music video at like an award show, and it's like him shirtless, and it's like blue. But then they released it, and then it's like, like kind of like a chill vibe. And I was like, this fucking clown. <laughs> but on that on that album, uh, all around the world featuring Ludacris. Honestly, a slept on song. Pretty yeah. good. Uh, as long as you love me, as long as you big love me. Chunk. I don't know if this makes sense, but you're my hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a time to place our rendezvous and I'll fly you to it. I'll beat you there. Girl, you know I got you. Us. Trust. A couple things I can't spell without you that we aren't. Okay, anyway. <laughs> like, another banger. Uh, Catching Feelings. Catching Feelings is great. Great song. Take You. Right there featuring Drake. Probably their only collaboration. Um, <laughs> Fall. Do you remember? Okay, I know you remember the, the Ian Eastwood yes. choreo. Yeah, oh, fall. Bro. That fuck, when he clipped the wing... Oh boy! <laughs> One of the most, like, I think most memorable uh, choreos. The from musicality Ian. that that man has, oh boy, is crazy. That man, that man is talented. Um, but then, "Die in Your Arms," which oh. later was covered by Ariana Grande. Oh. Her version was excellent too. Man, Got a, thought of you. Beauty and a beat. Beauty, beauty and a beat. Beauty, beauty and a beast. <laughs> beautiful progresses in the street. Beast. Be- yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye out for Saline. Or- <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Featured Nicki Minaj. Uh, One Love was all right. Be all right was uh, fantastic. Same with uh, Believe. Believe. Uh, which was the uh, title of the album. So 
That one was dope. Uh, then he had the acoustic version of that. And then, you know, he started smoking weed, started hanging out with <laughs> with randoms. and Wiz Khalifa! <laughs> <laughs> and um, came out with journals. But journals had some decent hitters. I wouldn't say the whole uh the whole album was was good. A lot of these songs I I didn't bother to to listen to, but uh Heartbreaker, All That Matters, Hold You're Tight. All that matters to me. Confident featuring Chance the Rapper. Uh don't forget about PYD. Oh yeah, PYD. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we we could we could excellent that feature. <laughs> uh, yeah, he he had this album wasn't his greatest. He had some good, decent singles, but it wasn't good. But then that was 2013. Yep. Right, 2013. He takes a break for a couple of years. Comes back all tatted up. Comes back all tatted up. If you don't remember, he takes a break, and then he goes on Comedy Central to get roasted. <laughs> I remember that. Actually. You remember? That? Oh my god! I remember that. I totally forgot that he gives motherfucker got roasted. <laughs> the roast of Justin Bieber. If you guys don't remember, go look it up. It's great. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Honestly, I don't. I'm fairly sure he hired a comedian to write his his, his jokes, mm-hmm. his rebuttals. Mm-hmm. But the rebuttals are solid. Yeah, his, his rebuttals are solid. But he came back with purpose, <clears throat> and on purpose was the no pun intended. Was the uh, <laughs> was the new sound. Because EDM was kind of sweeping from 2013. Yeah, on. yeah, definitely was. So you had, um, what do you mean? You had, uh, what was the single of there? There was, what do you mean? And then there was, oh, where are you now with Skrillex? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there was Sorry, you know, all had that kind of EDM like beat. But then there were hidden gems, including um, Love Yourself. Written Love Yourself by- was uh, on for a cool minute. Yeah, oh, yeah. Written by Ed Sheeran. Uh, there was also Mark My Words. That one is honestly slipped on. The Feeling featuring Halsey was okay. No pressure, but Big Sean, I like that one. That yeah, that one, was, that one was dope. No Sense was I. Right. Uh, we Are featuring Oz is actually pretty good. Can't lie. Uh, All In It, pretty good. Again, he's coming back from... from actually, this is... He, did he shortly... He didn't get married before this. He got married shortly after this. After. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember that being, like, the big thing. Because, like, a month, like, a month before he got married, like, it was, like, Selena Gomez and him just broke up. And then it was, like, he got married? What the fuck? Like, what the hell happened? So, uh, still, uh, still, uh, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, uh, Stan. That's just me. It is what it is. You can hate me, Clint. Don't care. Uh, he had a Japan version of... But he's a Japanese version of purpose. What's in your purpose? Uh? <laughs> is it tonight? No, it was sorry. <laughs> you may bring dishonor, <laughs> but what is your purpose? <laughs> okay, so 2015, that was purpose, and then takes a break for five years. He's going through it. Man is having issues throughout his whole fucking life. Um, and this one, where he's shortly, he gets married shortly after. Yeah, he gets married shortly after. Or, this is after he gets married, sorry. Well, I mean, they changes. were married for a cool minute when, when the next album, Changes, was released. Yeah, 20... Changes was released in 2020. Like, yeah, they got married 2018? 2018. Oh, was it? Were they... No, 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 because they had broken up. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber broke up uh, 2014, I think. That's the reason, we're like, where are you now? And yeah, 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 but one main thing, like, he was... they got married shortly after. He, they got married 2018. 20, 2017, 2018. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. It was two years. 2018. Why do I feel like it was, like, immediately, like... Well, because uh, after the Oh, no, break you of, know what? You're right. Because nothing was I happening. I remember hearing in, like, 2016 or 2017, Justin Bieber was single, and he was... He was hugging like Ariana Grande uh, at at a show that they did, or mm-hmm. where he came on as a feature, and uh, Big Sean was still like publicly with her, yeah, even yeah. though they weren't. And they were like, and, and Big Sean was like, "Hey, keep your hands off my girl, Justin." I remember that. he tweeted something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, two years, and then so two years after his marriage, 
he came out with changes and this is where he did like a little documentary and like mm-hmm. not a documentary but he did like a little sh- series on like youtubers like you know i've grown as a man i've i'm married i've i've you know um grown in my faith and all this other stuff and he came out with um changes um where where we thought cool we're getting an evolution of justin bieber and he's gonna be dope as fuck and his single was fucking yum okay <laughs> his single was about pussy all right let's let's get this out of the way justin bieber what the fuck was you thinking <laughs> i i hated the song at first but then it, because it played on the radio a lot it it it, it grows catchy. on you for a while. It does. It's one of those. It's one of those. But it was just like like around that time, like 2018. I think that's when I think that's when like music got a little bit more provocative. Like sure you know did. what I mean. So I think like it was just more for the public's, like what was playable for them for music play, uh, plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So um, with that though, Justin Bieber in this album he had some okay songs. There was Intentions, um, Habitual. Um, uh, Forever with uh, Clever and Post Malone, Get Me featuring Kaylani. I think this is about the same time that he did the feature for Kaylani, which was um, uh, is it Up All Night? Yes. Uh, that that song is actually dope. Um, honestly, a lot of the songs on on Changes wasn't that great, and it's funny because Selena for my birthday in 2020 before. Uh, or actually, it might have been Christmas before um, uh, the COVID shutdowns. We were gonna see him live. Oh shoot! At Rose Bowl for the Changes album, and that shit uh, never happened because he fucking closed it off. Fuck me. Anyways, <laughs> later on, uh, a year later, is where he came out with Justice, and Justice I think had a lot more. Of the bangers. So Justice had Off My Face. Honestly, that song I slept on. I slept, oh, yes. I slept on that. I, I started, I heard that song, I think, in 2023, beginning of 2023. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck is, I was like, oh my God. Off My Face is a banger. Um, Holy with Chance the Rapper. Yep. Um, this is around the same time he did the um, Kid Leroy um Feature on Stay. Um, what else is there? Die For You was alright. Hold On. Honestly, another slapped on song. I really love it. Uh, Ghost is super dope. Peaches. Love that song too. Anyone. Lonely, I think, was definitely a song that that I saw the change that he's been talking about. Oh, okay. I was about to where, say. Is that where you saw... Uh... That's where is, is, is that where you saw uh, Benny Blanco and Selena Gomez end up getting together? <laughs> was, hey, we're, we're good. That shit's crazy. We're good. No, 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 no. <laughs> fuck you, don't. <laughs> Go ahead then. Play lonely <laughs> without me. No, because I remember hearing that song for the first time, and you know he's, you know I I'm a fairly decent like fan of Justin Bieber, and like he's talked about it before, where he's just like, man, it's just like. Like, the paparazzi and being in the spotlight, he's like, it's just, uh, like, a lot of the times overwhelming. And he's he's canceled tours quite a few times yeah. because of his problems. I don't know what they are exactly, but, you know, the man is obviously going through it if he's got to cancel. He's had a history. Him. Yeah, if, if he if he has to cancel his, his tour to take care of himself, he's obviously got his own issues and his own demons that he's got to deal with. But I think, like, that song itself was like, like really, kind of solidified it together. I was just like, "Well, at least you're finally fucking expressing it in music." <laughs> but was it a good single? N- no, in my opinion. But I think it's something that needed to get off. He, he needed to get off his chest and, yeah. and just put it out there. So now, after all that was said and done. That was my top three. Now to the number four, Chris Brown. <laughs> Just pick two. <laughs> uh, honestly, now looking back, I think I would enjoy. Uh, I'm debating between Bruno Mars and uh, Justin Timberlake. It's probably going to be Justin Timberlake number one because he has a bigger catalog, including NSYNC. Yeah. 
and then Bruno Mars, and then Justin Bieber. If I remember Chris Brown earlier, this list is going to be different. <laughs> of course. Of course. Fuck. When I said there were only two people on my list that had a Christmas album, <laughs> and, I, and you brought in Cuddy had a, had a holiday album, I was like, yes, Oh, Chris yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, but I wanted to make a pun. But then after that, you were like, yeah, but and Chris Brown was like, oh, yeah, Chris Brown does have one. <laughs> I fucking forgot. I How? As much as I say that I'm a Chris Brown fan, how the fuck did I forget that? Well, you said you, you did after you did say that, and you were like, "Well, we're not gonna talk about that." <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not. We're, I'll be for another list. But what about you, bro? I'm sorry, I took up a lot of that time. We're, I already answered my question. Who's who's your? Oh, J- Justin Timberlake. No, no, no you Kanye. said Kanye. You Kanye. did say Kanye. My fault. All right, well, this is gonna be an hour long podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done talking. I'm tired. You like, got re- answer, bro? I've got to read McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you should just be like, bro, you've been talking about this for three days. <laughs> three days. You missed work. I missed work. We both missed work. <laughs> it's Sunday. I know. You were Fuck. you were talking about let's do a 72 hour stream. <laughs> we're not even Oh, we are live. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Alright, guys. That was enough of this topic. Let us know what you want us to talk about in the next one. Uh subscribe for more content. Give us a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. it helps bad. us My get bad. the views up and stuff and reach. You want to say anything? My head hurts. I like baked potatoes. I am a baked potato. <laughs> I'm a baked potato. <laughs> He's a baked potato. Together we're the baked potato team. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and we'll see you guys later. Peace, y'all.